Homeowner suspected the maid, then she checked the security camera. When it comes to getting housemaids, most employers would agree that it's not always easy to get along with one another, especially during the adjustment period. But while the most common issues relating to house helpers include lame jobs, disrespectfulness or failure to follow instructions, one woman from Singapore experienced a rather strange problem about his housemaid. Bothered that something suspicious was happening, the homeowner decided to check the security cameras installed in her flat. What she saw in the footage left her terrified and undecided of what to do next. Neural Baker was a 25-year-old working mom from Singapore. She was renting an HDB flat and was living with her husband and two kids. Her mother was also with them. Because being a wife and a mom at a young age was not initially included in her plan, Ms. Baker had to work so hard to be able to save for her children's future. Although her husband had a job, she needed to support him as the cost of living in Singapore continued to soar. Since online businesses were in its golden era, Ms. Baker studied how it worked and decided to take advantage of the opportunities. With her passion and dedication, it didn't take long for her to establish herself as an online seller that ultimately led her to launch her own small business. The young mom's priorities had been doubled, and she realized she needed an extra helping hand in the house. Her mother was not getting any younger and her kids needed as much attention as they could get. After discussing her plan with her husband, he agreed and allowed her to hire a housemaid. With the help of some of her friends, Ms. Baker had found the perfect housemaid from an agency in an instant. Since her kids were still small, she required a stay-in helper. At first, the young woman showed great enthusiasm for her job. The kids were fond of her as well as her mom. Her priorities were the children as her mother often took care of the cooking and cleaning. In the first few months, Ms. Baker and her family didn't have a problem at all. But as the housemaid was mostly left alone with the kids in the house due to her growing duties and responsibilities in her business, that's when odd changes began to occur. Ms. Baker was confident that they were treating their housemaid right. The first time she noticed that the young woman was not doing her job correctly, she talked to her to make sure she knew that there was a problem. The helper was apologetic and promised that it would never happen again. However, she hadn't been faithful to her words. It came to the point that Ms. Baker had to repeat the household chores. Aside from being lousy in her job, Ms. Baker, as well as her mother and her husband, had noticed the odd behavior of the maid. She was usually staring at something as if her thoughts were at a loss. Other times the woman would mutter barely audible words. When Ms. Baker could no longer hold her curiosity about what's really happening, she decided to check the security cameras. Ms. Baker kept on asking the maid if she was feeling okay or not. But try as she might, the helper didn't tell her anything. However, it was clear that the helper had already lost interest. Trying to find out what went wrong, she got into her room and accessed the footages provided by the CCTV. There were many possibilities running through her mind as she was browsing the clips and footage. What if her kids had been too naughty and the maid couldn't take them anymore? Ms. Baker continued to watch the footage until she came across a particular video that made her scream. While she was initially looking for clues why her housemaid was acting strange lately, it didn't occur to Ms. Baker that she would find something that was bizarre. The video was taken on March 23, and her housemaid was evidently fresh from the shower. As the maid was approaching where the camera was, she began to move irrationally. At first, Ms. Baker was puzzled. But when the young helper who's wearing a creepy white dress began to act as if she was being possessed by some supernatural entities, her curiosity turned to fear. What was happening? Although she was initially shocked and terrified by the footage, Ms. Baker tried to calm herself and replayed the video. This time, she watched intently. Judging by her maid's bizarre movements and facial reactions, Ms. Baker thought that she was being possessed. The odd behavior of her housemaid that was caught on CCTV reminded her of Sadako, the famous ghost from the movie The Ring. Strangely, she didn't feel the same level of fear and creeps as she had felt when she first saw Sadako on screen. That's when Ms. Baker realized that the footage has something more to tell her. Ms. Baker had watched the creepy footage multiple times before she finally decided to get up and make up her mind. 
She had a suspicion, but that feeling just doubled the confusion that she was feeling at the moment. Being with her housemate in the past had brought her a kind of comfortable feeling. It was nice to have someone in the house who's dedicated to helping her do the hard things. After watching the footage, she didn't know if she could still trust her again. What was even worse, it was her family's safety and welfare that was at stake. In her confusion, she decided to get help from the online world. A week before Ms. Baker discovered the creepy video of her housemaid, there was footage about an alleged ghost in a morgue that was caught on cam. Ms. Baker remembered reading the comments and thought that some of them indeed made sense. Hoping to have someone confirm her suspicion about her maid, Ms. Baker uploaded the CCTV footage on social media. In an instant, it went viral. She then waited for the comments to come in, and that's when she had confirmed that she was right all along. While most comments described that the video was indeed creepy, other concerned individuals had voiced out their opinion about the footage. The housemaid was faking the possession. One particular comment from a man named Justin Chen had caught Ms. Baker's attention. According to Mr. Chen, the maid was definitely aware of where the camera was. She could have been possessed while she's in the shower. But of all places, she chose to act strangely in front of the CCTV. It was clear that the housemaid wanted her employer to see her drama. But for what? Aside from explaining his point why he was sure that the maid was making everything up, Mr. Chen expressed his concern for the employer and his family. A maid who's in her right mind wouldn't go as far as to pretend a ghost just to scare off her employers. Mr. Chen advised Ms. Bakers that it would be better if she would let her maid go before she gets a chance to do worse things. Clearly, the housemaid was not happy in their house anymore. Ms. Baker was touched at the way people expressed their observation. The signs that the maid was in her right mind and was intentionally acting strange were obvious. According to the commenters, the housemaid started her bizarre movements from the shower. If she was already possessed in the bathroom, it wouldn't cross her mind to dress up. What's even funnier was the fact that she chose a long white dress. Others told Ms. Baker that the housemaid was not aware that she was too obvious. Another concerned individual decided to share his story that was related to Ms. Baker's unusual experience. Enzo Lumpkins wrote that it was not his first time to see a house helper faking possession. Homeowner suspected the maid, then she checked the security camera. He even added that he had also experienced it from his maid who wanted to leave the job. The maid then admitted that it was a kind of exit strategy that was quickly becoming common. Ms. Baker already had an inkling that the footage was not real. But still, she asked for the opinion of others so that she could come up with a better judgment. Together with her husband, they talked to the maid who was still reluctant to admit the truth. Although she never got the apology she was looking for, their family decided to let the maid go home to her county. After all, she had been kind to them at the beginning. Ms. Baker could only wish that she wouldn't do it again. The lesson was clear and she reminded herself to take double precautions the next time.